In this example, we will be determining which quadrant a point is located. Which quadrant or axis is the point negative 2 comma 10 located? Now recall that the rectangular coordinate system or the coordinate plane is divided into four regions because it's the uh, X axis or the horizontal number line and also the Y axis or the Y uh, number line, the vertical number line. This is what divides it into these four regions which we call quadrants. So to remember your quadrants, we always uh, number them counterclockwise. You can also think of a C for coordinate system, counting, counting counterclockwise. You notice I kept saying a C because that's what it forms. So you have quadrant one, two, three, and four coordinate system counting counterclockwise. All those C's can help you remember uh, that is how uh, you know your quadrants. So suppose I wanted to uh, get into this area or this region, this sector. To get into that region, let's say we had to go X, Y, we couldn't just go uh, diagonally across in there. So we would have to go X, Y. So to get into that region, I would have to go to the positive side. That's a positive. And then up in that region, that's another positive go, moving up. So that means that every, every point that is located in quadrant one will have a sign of a positive, positive. So what do you think the signs uh, of quadrant points that are located in quadrant two would be then. If you said negative positive, then you are correct. Because from the point of origin, to move over in that area, I would have to go to the negative side, that's a negative, and then to go up into that region, that's a positive. That is why every point in quadrant two has a sign of negative positive. So what are the signs for quadrant three? If you said negative negative, that is correct. Because from the point of origin to move into that area, I would have to go negative to the negative side and then down to get into that area. That's another negative, which means that every point in quadrant three will have a sign of negative negative. Lastly, what are the signs for quadrant four? Well, if you said a positive negative, then you are correct. Do you notice anything familiar in terms of uh, their opposites? If you look here, these points are opposites of each other. And so are these points diagonally. They are opposite of each other. All right, so let's focus on the question here we were asked which quadrant or axis is the point negative 2 comma 10 well you're not even looking at the fact that you have these large numbers which really are not even on this particular graph what you're looking at is the point that your first number is a negative the x value is a negative the y value is a positive which means that it has to be in which quadrant? That is correct. It would be in quadrant two because if you will notice here that you have a negative and a positive, so therefore it has to be in quadrant two. In this next example, we're x which quadrant or axis is the point 0, negative 5 located? Well, here's a hint. Anytime your coordinates has a 0 in it, then that means that it is not located inside a quadrant. Uh, it would be on a line and or an axis. So it would be either on the x-axis or the y-axis. 
So let's plot this point to see where it's located. So for our x value, it is 0, which means on the x-axis, we're not going to move to the left or right. We're just going to remain at the point of origin. Our y value is a negative 5. So from that point of the point of origin, I am going to move, that's correct, down 5 because a negative indicates that I'm going to move down. So when we move down, we are at the point of 0, negative 5, which is, as you can see, located on the y axis.